So a lot of different ways you can do that. And because we're talking about cloth a lot, let's go ahead and say uh, we want to do some details here. So again, you can take your Damien standard, you can cut a seam across here. But what do you want to do like jeans puckering? Let's go out of edit mode here. Let's grab our plain 3D. Go into edit mode. Let's uh, make this, you know, we can make this a polymesh 3D. If you want to just a single plane, you could go to initialize and do that. Or you can just do um, reconstruct. Reconstruct your subdivision history down to nothing, delete higher. I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner. And then to make this a little bit more evenly quadded, I'm gonna to go to insert multiple edge loops and we'll just toss in some evenly spaced quads. Hit control W, it's all creased. So I'm gonna to go to geometry crease and then do uncrease all. And now I've got a nice quadded out shape. Uh, there's a lot of different ways. You could zero mesh this, you can do a unified, uh, unified skin, but this is easy enough. So now, uh, let's make a jeans puckering texture. So what I'm going to do is when I hit min geometry, I hit control D. That's going to average my vertices. It kind of makes the edges kind of melt. So I'm going to turn smooth modifier off, hit divide, divide, divide. And now I can start making a jeans puckering texture. So one way I can do that, I can hold down control. Let's, uh, you know what, let's hold down control on this one. Control tap to invert that. I'm going to hold down alt and grab this right here. I'm going to go in through here this top and just kind of rotate that out. So we can get a nice straight line through here. And then uh, that'll give me just a line uh, down through this. We can also go through here when we can use scale. So that'll give me a little overlap here. So now as I hit continue to uh, divide this up, actually we can go ahead and turn, once we've divided it up a bit, I don't mind going back and turning smooth back on. And now we can go through here and we can actually use smooth and we can just dial this back a little bit. So we can have like a little fold in our cloth here. And then across here, we can go in here with our standard brush. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mask this part out. And then as we're using our standard brush, we'll have lazy mouse turned on, just tap L and we'll go through here and we'll just do, come on, like a puckering type jeans texture. And there's a million different ways or different shapes. Let's hold down control and tap. We can invert that. And then on this side here, um, you can do like, I don't know, any smaller shapes you want to see, or if you just want to leave that alone, feel free. And then now we've got kind of a jeans pucker texture here. One easy way to grab this alpha is to go out of edit mode, go up here to your simple brush and grab your MRGBZ grabber. I'm going to grab this out. I'm going to use a space bar and I'm just going to grab the relevant pixel information here. We're basically uh, grabbing our height information here. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do that. You can use a document grab, but I'm just going to grab this alpha depth, this texture. We can go ahead and turn that off. So now, if we hit Control N to clear our canvas, and we go back to our pants, and we'll go ahead and take our standard brush here, we'll go ahead and clone it off. So down here at the bottom we have now standard one. Uh, dot stroke is fine, the brush alpha will grab our uh, depth grab we did. Uh, if you use drag rect for your stroke, oh, you know, that's gonna do something weird. So if we do drag rect, that's gonna drag out uh, our stroke here. Let's do do a dot stroke and now we're just dragging our alpha through here. If we go over here to our stroke menu and we have our lazy mouse on, but our lazy step turned up, now we're gonna be dragging out copies of that. But also remember, if you go in here to roll, now you can roll your alpha through. And if you wanna make changes to your alpha, you can go over here to alpha, modify and make changes. Uh, you could do blur and streaks and V and horizontal and vertical tiles. Uh, I'm gonna do a flip horizontal so when I drag out, the seam is on the left-hand side. And then stroke lazy mouse. Let's try, crank that lazy step down, have our roll distance set to one. And now turn our Z intensity down. And now you can kind of roll that pucker texture through that you made. And that'll be kind of a jeans pucker texture. So you can do holes, you can do scraggly stuff. And again, you can always go back down because we have subdivision history. You can change your primary and secondary forms and then go up here and again, do your uh, detail work like so. And always uh, use reference. It's actually been a while since I made a pair of jeans. So something like this, but you know, feel free to make your own alpha. You can actually grab image information and convert that to a grayscale. Uh, you can go into Marvelous Designer and make a big simulated jeans pucker for example they even have a jeans pucker alpha you can borrow uh, somewhere in their settings but it's easy enough to make your own